what is up guys back for another poker vlog um it's been a crazy crazy night i almost got in a car accident and it wasn't even my fault i think a dude was following me too closely got to a uh red light and they literally veered off into the other lane and almost hit somebody but they didn't so we're here we're alive we're good i'm ready to go play some poker have some fun eat some good food try to win so I've been running kind of kind of bad recently so hoping to stop start the heart the hot streak tonight but please drop a like subscribe comment see you at the felt all right guys welcome back for another poker vlog I hope you enjoyed that intro um, but I have eight seven of hearts to start this vlog and I think with a suited connector like this one, it's always good for a for a nice bet. So yeah, the blinds were uh, 50 and 100. So I bet it up to 225, 250, something like that, maybe 275. Um, enough to get uh, one or two callers. And then the flop is going to come 285. So I hit top pair with a pretty bad kicker. Um, on this kind of flop, I'm going to go ahead and bet to see where I'm at. I bet it to, up to, it looks like 200. And I'm going to get one fold, and then I'm going to get a call. Actually, sorry, sorry. Um, I forgot that, yes, it was 250, and he actually raised me to 500. I called, King of Diamonds comes off, sorry for that, I forgot. But yes, King of Diamonds comes off, we check it around. And the turn's going to be the Ten of Spades. Um, I'm going to check here going in with third pair. He's going to bet a 1,000. And the story he's told me is he didn't like the king. He's a good player, though. He could be trying to be sneaky with it. I don't think ace-king would do this, though. Um, so to me, I'm thinking he would have raised that king or he would have made a bigger bet on the king. I I'm kind of in a tough spot. I'm going to end up making the call here. You know, because I felt like I was good after the flop, and he had, maybe he this is a busted club draw or something, and uh, I I call and he ends up winning with pocket kings. So yes, if you saw my last video, you saw that I have nothing, and this is the first of many ace kings. So yes, I get ace king here. This is better than any hand I saw last time I played. So I know it's going to be a pretty all right session, or at least I think so. But I'm going to bet it up to. 300 after or i'm going to raise it up to 300 after a bet of 150 and you can see that to my right so i have the three black chips or four black chips there um, we're going to have about two or three folds and the initial player who made the first bet is going to call so he calls we're going to go to i believe uh three people to a flop me my opponent to the right and then one more player down to the left of us so Hoping to get a nice flop with ace king, and we're gonna get down to a flop of jack seven eight two spades. So, with two overcards here, you know, this can hit me. I could have ace jack. A continuation bet here is going to be best, in my opinion. So, my, when my opponent checks it to me, I'm gonna throw a bet of 600. I know the blue chip's a thousand, but I said 600 in the moment. So, yes, I'm gonna make a bet of 600. One fold, and he's going to call. So I'm thinking maybe he hit, he hit a seven, maybe he hit an eight, just something. Uh, maybe he, he had a suited connector and hit one of those. Um, hopefully not nine, ten, because I'd be drawing dead. Uh, not drawing dead, but I'd be in a world of pain. I'd be very, very behind. Um, the king of clubs is going to come off, giving me top pair, top kicker. So I love this hand. Um and I'm going to I'm going to call his bet. So he he leads out for this. So I'm thinking maybe king queen. Um, I don't know, but another king comes off. So at this point, if he has king jack for a full house, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to end up making a bet of two thousand. He calls. We show the same hand and we chop the pot up. All right, guys. So first pocket pair in a while, and his pocket tens. So, yeah, I'm getting some decent hands. I'm pretty happy about this. You know, the food's been great, getting some decent hands. With pocket tens, I'm going to end up 
betting this up to, I believe, 1,000 in the moment. It could have been 800, I forget. But I make a pretty decent bet because pocket tens is not a bad hand. And it's going to get a little bit interesting when my opponent down to the left is going to end up raising me. And you'll see me put out a bet. Um, he puts out two chips. So that, that player is going to fold. And I'm sitting here with pocket tens. I'm thinking, what does he have? Um, personally, I'm thinking ace king, ace queen, uh, ace jack, something like that. Um, I think pocket queens, kings, or tens, they could raise me in this situation. I don't know. Um, I guess any of those hands you just said could could uh, raise me in this situation, but that's fine. We're going to end up calling. And the flop's going to be eight deuce deuce. Um, sorry for the mess up there. It ended up being a spade, not a club. So it is eight, two of spades, two of clubs, not the two. Not Obviously, there's not two clubs, but I'm going to end up betting on this, uh, continue, making a continuation bet, and he's going to end up making the call. But yes, sorry about the double clubs. No need, no, uh, just maybe I got tired when I was editing. Usually don't make that kind of mistake, but it's okay. That's not going to be too big of a deal. Um, but we're going to get down to a turn, and the turn's going to end up being the five of diamonds. So consider it a rainbow board. I'm going to check. He's going to check. And we're going to get a river of the ten of diamonds, giving me a full house. That's why those double clubs don't mean anything. I'm going to bet small for a 1,000, hoping to get called, hoping to really get raised in this situation because... I mean, if he's got pocket twos, it is what it is, but I've got the nuts on this board, um, and he is going to end up making the fold. He had ace-king, and I win that massive hand. So this is no joke here. I literally pick up pocket eights the next hand, and guys, we're running hot. I'm feeling pretty happy with the hands I'm getting, you know? Pocket tens and then pocket eights. So, you know, I'm looking pretty aggressive right now, but I'm getting legit hands, you know. So I'm in the big blind too, so it's even better. <clears throat> so I ended up uh, just calling with my pocket eights, trying to be sneaky. Sorry for the delay. But the flop's going to come three, nine, deuce. So I have pocket eights here. Um, only There's only one over out there, but who's really coming in with a nine? So I'm going to make a bet of 600. Because, <clears throat> I mean, maybe it's ace, nine uh, suited. You know, maybe it's like, I don't know, 9, 10. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to get, um, it looks like I get raised here. So I had 6, he raised to 12. I'm sitting here with pocket 8. I'm a little bit, you know, not confused, but I'm thinking maybe ace jack, ace king just tries to scare me off of this, thinking I don't connect with the board. And obviously I don't, but I do have a pocket pair. And he's going to end up, the dealer's going to end up making the call. I'm obviously going to call. So it looks like it was 1600 And we're going to get a turn of the five of hearts. I'm going to check here. I hit my camera, obviously. So I'm going to check here. And my opponent's going to end up putting out another pretty chunky bet. I don't feel good here just because I feel like he's got something decent. I'm feeling an overpair, maybe, maybe a set. So I look at my eights. I'm going to end up folding this hand. And I'll tell you... After the hand, we're able to look at uh, the opponent's hands just on the live stream. My opponent had king nine of spades, so he ended up beating me with top pair on the flop. He still had the lead on the turn, and I'm pretty happy with my fold here. I hate folding pocket pairs, but with one over, it was pretty easy, so I lose that hand. So yeah, another ace-king. This time, ace-king suited of the heart variety. So of course, I'm in the big blind. You can tell because you can see the 200 ante in front of me as well as the 200 blind. And Ace King of Hearts is actually my girlfriend's favorite hand. So I'm going to end up raising this th or betting this thing when it gets to me. And you'll see um, when it gets over here, I believe in the moment I end up making a bet of looks like I did 600. I think the blinds are, yeah, the blinds are two and 100. So I end up making a bet of 600. So just a little three times the blind, and I'm going to get one call to my left, and then a whole bunch of folds. So we're going to go heads up to a flop here, and I feel pretty good with this hand, obviously, hoping to hit a couple hearts. That'd be nice. Maybe an ace, 
maybe a king. But unfortunately, the way my knight's going, it goes jack, jack, eight of hearts. So just to see where I'm at, I end up making a pretty decently sized bet of 2,000. And I get snap raised to 5,000. At this point, I put him on a jack. Um, no one should feel this comfortable with this board unless you absolutely smash it. So I'm going to fold my ace king. He ends up turning over ace jack. So yes, we were dominated unless we go runner runner for the kings. Um, we were going to lose this hand pretty bad. So um, like I said, I hate folding a nice beautiful hand like this, but I lose it. What's kind of funny is right when I get this hand, I was talking about how much I hate ace king. And of course I get ace king, but yeah, the table thinks I'm funny because I literally was talking about it and I couldn't believe it. I'm on the button too. Like I'm getting these awesome hands in some pretty wild positions. Like I get ace king. Um, so I guess it was two hands later, literally two hands later. So I'm going to end up making a bet of 1200. So hoping to put max pressure. I really would just love to take this pot down pretty flop with the way ace king has been running. Thing is, you know, beautiful hand, but at the end of the day, guys, it's still just a non-made hand. You are ace high. So you really need to hit the board. Um, but yes, so the dealer is going to end up calling this. And we're going to end up going to heads up. Me and the dealer, his name's Damien. He's a pretty good player. Pretty nice dude. Um, great dealer. Great dude. Um, but anyways, we're going to go heads up to a flop. And the flop's going to come. And of course, like the theme of the night, absolutely whiff it. I mean, at this point, I could hit a jack for a straight, but... We got queen, 10, 4, rainbow. Um, at this point, the way it was rolling, I end up messing up. I check this through, and the turn's going to be the five of clubs. He's going to make a bet, and it's just tough. I should have bet, honestly should have bet the turn, or not the turn, I should have bet the flop, just because maybe I could have ace, queen. But I end up making the call, hoping to hit my gut shot. It wasn't too big of a bet. Ends up coming another queen. I'm just sick at this point. Um, he ends up making a bet of twenty two hundred. I literally show the table. I can I can never call this guys. I just whether he's got ace queen, I lose this hand. So yeah, guys, the next hand is the eight nine of clubs, and I'm telling you, it's crazy when I get these hands. I'm in the big blind, and not only am I in the big blind, but we're going to end up just everyone's going to limp around to me. You'll see the player to my right. I forget. I think he actually just didn't end up making the... He didn't make the call, even though he was in for half of it anyways. Um, yeah, sorry, never mind. He did make the call. So he makes the call. But yeah, everyone's going to limp in here, which I love limping in with my pseudo connectors, especially with how my night's been going. And we're going to get down to a nice flop of seven, eight, nine, two spades. So it's kind of funny that I smashed the flops when I don't have really great cards but because this board's really really connected so many things that could happen i'm going to end up betting this up to 700 hoping to fall out some hands i get two calls though so i know that these players hit something they obviously liked i'm looking at people being open-ended for the straight as well as being on a flush draw probably and the queen of diamonds come so at this point only thing i'm losing to is jack 10 and there's going to be a bet of 1200 and specifically on that hand, I was losing anyways. Um, so I'm going to call. Like like I said, Jack-10 was already the nuts. Uh, the queen doesn't really change anything except, you know, I guess if anything, just makes it a higher straight. Two of hearts, which is a brick, is going to come off. I'd love to get the showdown, so everyone checks all around, and my two pair ends up being good. So really happy with that hand and how I played it. So guys, I went about 30 minutes being card dead, and in tournament poker, 30 minutes can really hurt you. Like, I'm just surviving the blinds, I get king-queen off suit, and you might be wondering, Goose, what happened? What happened was I just honestly lost a lot of hands where I had to just fold out when I was the blinds. Uh, maybe I'd make a call, but yeah, I ended up shoving this hand king-queen off suit because it's the best hand I've got in a while, and the way you win tournaments is you gotta pick up blinds, and thankfully... Everyone's going to fold all around and I win the blinds right there. But also, um, just so I can, you know, make this quick, I ended up doing this three times. So yeah, you saw the king-queen hand. I'm going to do the same thing with ace-10. So I'm going to end up shoving again. 
Uh, not really hoping for a call because obviously ace jack through ace kings got me dominated but i'm getting pretty lucky here picking up more blinds and the last time i do this real significant wise is when i get pocket sevens and of course pocket sevens uh i believe i'm first to act i'm going to end up shoving again and i'm gonna pick up picking up these blinds until i get to this last crazy hand so guys you heard about all those crazy all-ins and this time I am all in, but this time with the greatest hand ever created, the little nuts before pre-flop. I have pocket aces. So this is what I've been waiting all game for. I've been waiting for me to, sh to you know, to shove light, um, make people think that I don't got it. Um, and I am so happy when I have two players that go all in, player to my left, player to my right, dead skill. And what else am I going to do? I have the nuts. I have pocket aces. So I'm going to shove as well. I'm looking for a triple up. This literally will change the game. I'm at about 15. If I win this, it's going to put me at 45. And honestly, close to the chip leader. So, I mean, I, how, I mean I, I'm a little bit... I'm kind of wondering what they have. Maybe kings, queens, um, ace, king. And I am flip my hand over knowing I'm in amazing shape. Because Gil shows his ace king. I believe it was, I forget if it was suited or offsuit. So Gil to my right has ace king. Player to my left has king queen. And what else am I going to do? I pocket aces. I'm so far ahead pre flop. But you know what, guys? When I tell you I've been running bad, I have been running bad. So here is the run out. Well, no, I'll, I'll tell you, well, if you don't want to know, that's your name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't this. Oh, Jack, wow. Queen. wow. You see? Wow. That's um. Oh! Ace, 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 Ace. I need a king. Just like that. Oh, oh my god. Hey, right. you and me, Chop Goose. Okay. Wow. I think that's two times I've been speechless with poker. Like, so you saw the last hand. I looked down at aces. <laughs> Literally the best hand in poker pre-flop. One guy goes all in, uh, then Gil goes all in. I call. I mean, what else am I going to do, you know? I have aces. <sighs> Flop, one guy flopped a straight. The other guy turned a higher straight. I literally, I lose to both of them. And both of them have dominated pre-flop, you know? Like, poker's a crazy game. And like it's not like it's not like tens or queens where I fold them. And I'm like, okay, cool. I literally, I literally had the best hand in poker, but I was happy to get him. I asked for him all night, and it's funny because I really was like, ace. I was like, ace king sucks. I literally joked about that, and what put me out was ace king and king queen. So I had fun. I had a lot of fun. Crazy game. Um, both. Very valid shoves. I had a great shove, and um, here's what it is. It happens. But I love you guys. Uh, please drop, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I'm running so bad right now. I'm running so bad. So drop a like and support the run bad. But I'll see you guys. Peace out.